Logic Pro has its own built-in stem splitter, and what this will do is allow you to add an audio file, and it will automatically separate out the different parts of the audio file for you to do what you want with. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use it and give you some great applications on what you could use it for. To get started, you will need an audio file of your favorite song. It could be an artist's song or something you've made yourself, but ideally a full mastered audio file will get you the best results. Also, just a quick note, you do need to be using Logic Pro 11 to utilize this feature. So unfortunately, if you're not on Logic Pro 11, you can still watch the video, but you won't be able to do it yourself. So I'm going to go get my audio file, just drop it in there. So now that we have our audio file, you should be able to play it and hear it like, like one does. So now to access Stim Splitter, right click on the audio file and press Stim Splitter. And now this window will pop up and this is kind of where you decide what you want from the audio file. So the default is a preset called All Separate Stems where it will take all of the elements of the song and separate them out. So the elements that Logic is able to separate are vocals, drums, bass, guitar, piano, and other. So whatever is not in one of those first five categories just gets thrown in other. So there's a few options here. If you just want something quick, like an acapella, you just wanna take the vocals out of the song, click acapella. If you just want instrumental, it will automatically calculate. So all of these are ready to go. If you just want vocals and instruments, uh, if you just want vocals, instruments, and drums, there's a lot of quick grab stuff you can do there. Or you can just click separate all stems and deal with it yourself, which is what I usually like to do. So go ahead and do that and click apply. And then it's gonna take a second to go through and process and get everything laid out. But then when it's done, you should have everything. So if I play it back now. You let it fade. Don't you deserve that? For all your mistakes. So it really is that easy, but assuming you don't want all the stems split out and don't want to deal with that, I'm going to show you how to create submixes so you don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to delete what it spit out here, and then I'm going to need to unmute this file. So if you just go Control M, it'll unmute it. And now we can go to Stem Splitter again, and this time I'm going to pick Instrumental. And if you look at this submix, it's going to include everything but the vocals. And now if I do it, it's just going to give me one file that's already done. And now we have just one file that's exactly what we wanted. Alternatively, if you want to just make your own submix, uncheck everything and come down here and you could just check what you want in your submix. So if you're doing uh, drum covers, for instance, and you want everything but drums in there, you could do this, and then you'll have a submix right here. Make sure you click to turn it on and then hit apply. And now it's gonna generate us a mix of everything but the drums. So now we can listen to our submix here. Or if you're a guitar player, you wanna do a jam track. Hopefully you're getting the point of it by now. But you can come up here, do stem splitter, and do the same thing, go to submix and just uncheck, or if you're a bass player, oh, that'd be huge for bass, but just you know, turn bass off, um, turn guitar off here. We'll do drums, vocals, and piano. So if you're, you and your friend are guitar and bass and you wanna just jam along to a track, and now we have a mix that's just drums, vocals, and keys. And it's just as simple as that. If you want to export any of these, just click on the one you want. So I'm going to grab this uh, no drums version. And we'll just call it no drums in parentheses. And then make sure it's soloed up. Click on the file itself and hit Command B. And then you can go through here, export it however you want, and hit OK. And you'll have 
your very own submix that has been bounced out of Logic that you can utilize anywhere. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this or have any requests for any other Logic style videos. I always check down there and do my best to reply, so hopefully I will see you and get to you as quickly as possible. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that stuff, and I will see you on the next one.